Good morning, first grade Smarties, and happy Monday. All right, so last week we talked about plant and animal adaptions in the desert. We talked about different things that those animals and plants have to do in order to live and survive in the desert. We talked about how desert plants very adapt by only ho only holding and needing little water to survive because deserts are very dry, hot places. We talked about how a lot of desert animals come out at night to avoid the hot sun during the day. Animals and plants adapt. They change wherever they are in order to survive. This week, we're going to be talking about ocean plants and ocean animals and what they do to adapt to their environment. So I am going to take us to Pebble Go. This is a great informational text site where we learn about facts and information about real life topics. So we're going to be talking about ocean plants. Now think about it. If a plant is living in the ocean, what is it getting a lot of? It's getting a lot of water, right? Because the ocean is made of water. So these plants live, they live in water. So my question, here's my wonder. I notice that those ocean plants, they live in water. So they're getting a lot of that. Here's my wonder. How do ocean plants get enough sunlight because that's something that plants need and how do they get soil because when i think of a plant i think of it being buried in the ground but when i think about the ocean i think of the bottom being made of what sand right so we are going to be discovering today how ocean plants adapt and live in water so the first one we're going to be talking about is algae Everyone say algae. Algae, kind of cool, right? It says on land, plants use sunlight to make food. In the ocean, algae use sunlight to make food. Some algae are tiny, others are large. Large algae are called seaweeds. So over here in this picture, it's a picture of algae. Now, you might have seen seaweed in a lake. It's really, it's kind of long, it's slimy. So just like plants on land, algae also needs sunlight to make food. So the sun shines through the water and it gives that plant the sunlight that it needs to continue to make food. So if you look over here, you can see this bright green color. Now algae can be different kinds of colors. It's a very unique ocean plant. All right, here's our next one. This might sound very familiar if you like the show SpongeBob. Plankton. Plankton. Many kinds of algae have only one cell. These tiny organisms float near the ocean surface. So surface means the top, so the top of the water. They There, they get enough light to grow. Floating algae are called plankton. So if you look right here, you can see some floating algae. Now, how do they adapt? They float close to the top so they can get enough what? Sunlight, right? They need that sunlight to be able to grow and to be able to create its own food. So plankton, when you think of plankton from SpongeBob, did you think of plankton being a type of ocean plant? Me neither. Kind of cool, right? So let's see if we, it says plankton are tiny plants and animals that drift in the sea. Rocky shores. Rocky shores. All right. So look at this seaweed. What do you notice? Where is it at? Is it in the water? It's on land. It says some seaweeds live on rocky shores. They attach themselves to the rocks with holdfast. So let's click on this word and see what it means. A holdfast is a root-like structure that fastens kelp to the ocean floor. So it kind of acts like feet. It, the 
attaches itself to whatever surface it wants to be on. And when the waves come up, it won't, it won't float away. So a hold fast is something that keeps that seaweed in place. It says waves beat against the rocks, but the seaweeds do not wash away. Now, if you look at this, the seaweed attaches itself to rocks, right? So what are two things that we know it's getting in order to live? It's getting sunlight, right? Because it's on shore, but it's also getting that water from the ray from the waves crashing on the water. Very unique, right? So these plants know how to adapt. They know how to change in order to live and grow. Kelp forests. Giant kelp, so this is kelp right here, is the biggest kind of seaweed. It can grow longer, oh, this is so cool. It can grow longer than a basketball court. So think about, think about our gym at Rockford, okay? Think about how long it is. Now imagine a piece of kelp like this as long as our basketball court at school. Is that not crazy? It says giant kelp attaches to the ocean floor. So it attaches itself to that sand in that deep, deep, wet, yucky floor. In the Pacific Ocean, many giant kelp grow together in underwater forests. So if you look past this big piece, you see those really tall, long, they kind of look, they look like trees. They're actually kelp. It's that giant kelp. So this kelp starts from the bottom of the ocean and reaches up, up, up. So it gets what? So it gets sunlight, right? So it's getting enough water, but it has to reach really high so it can get that sunlight. Coral reefs. Okay, this is really cool. It says the skeletons of tiny coral animals form coral reefs. Live corals attach to the reefs. Inside the corals are algae. The algae give the corals food. The corals protect the algae. So coral, when you think of coral reefs, if and I will send a video on Seesaw later this week because it's so cool. There's giant, beautiful coral reefs. Now, coral are animals that they gather together and they make a reef. Okay. They attach themselves to a rocky surface and together they make a structure. So if you look right here where my mouse is in all of this right here, those are tiny animals that attach themselves to reefs. Now, the coral relies on algae. Now we talked about algae. That is a type of ocean plant to grow. Okay. So the algae acts like food for the coral, but the coral is also protecting the algae. So they help each other to live. Really cool. So ocean plants are very unique because they are all surrounded by water unless they attach themselves on rocky shores. But these plants, they need sunlight. So I want you to think, what is one, one ocean plant that adapts to grow? What is one of the ocean plants we learned about? What does it do so it can grow? Okay, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Do not forget to do the um, plant, the ocean plant activity for today. And on Wednesday, we'll be talking about ocean animals. I hope you guys have a great day. I am loving talking about these um these environments and how these plants and animals live. And on Wednesday, we'll talk about what we might have to do if we tried to live in the ocean. All right, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. I know I've already said that, but learn hard. Don't, don't lose your creativity. Don't lose your imagination. Keep working hard, be respectful, roar, and go explore, have some fun. Okay. I will see you guys on Wednesday. Bye.